in my lungs. Hello everyone. Hi Sarti, DC God bless you. Queen Ola. I know, I don't know what happened with the English. It's a little frozen. Hello, everyone. Araraba Shunga. Irorobo Sekerebe Shunga. Hey, Simplay. Hey, Mary, Mr. King, I have blessing. Where are the bassinders? Great. Where are Ira Raba Shenda, Ira Raba Shenda, Ira Shenda, Ira Raba Shenda, Ira Raba Shenda, Hey! In my lungs, Ira Raba Shenda, Hey, listen, Hi, 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 of course, I will pray for you right now, high in the name of Jesus. Hey, we adore you, Lord, and we bless you. What is your name, high? What is your name, high? Hey, Lila. Era la basura. Desconozco por qué la imagen está un poco frozen. Yeah, I, I'm unaware of why this uh, image is a little cloudy. Era la basura. What is your name, Hai? What's your name, Hai? Ira Raba Senda. Hey, Nation Facebook. God bless you. God bless you, Facebook. Hey, Talia. Hola. Hey, Lily. Victor. Hola. Hey, Sikai. And she, and she, God bless you, Casey, Ricky, Ola. Vamos a orar un momento. Let us pray just for a moment. Ira Rabashenda. Su nombre es Alicia. Vamos a orar por Alicia. Let us pray for Alicia. Alicia dice que hace 10 años había conocido a Jesús. Uh, Alicia says that she got to know Jesus about 10 years ago. Pero ahora necesita una oración por salvación. But now she needs a prayer of salvation. Porque quiere reconciliarse con Jesús. Because she wants to reconcile with Jesus. Hay fiesta en los cielos. Oh, there is a party in heaven. Cada vez que un pecador. Every time a sinner. Viene a los pies de Jesús. Comes forth to the feet of Jesus. Hay fiesta en el cielo. There is a party in the city. Hay celebración en el cielo. There is celebration in the heavens. Así que en este momento. So at this moment. Yo quiero que todos ustedes. I want that every one of you. Me acompañen a orar por Alicia. That you accompany us and pray for Alicia. Era rabas en derrema. 
que ella va a recibir a Jesús en este momento. Because she's going to receive Jesus right now at this moment. Padre, en el nombre de Jesús. Father, in the name of Jesus. Venimos ante tu presencia. We come before your presence. Para presentarte a Alicia. So we can present Alicia to ella you. Ella ha decidido, Señor. She has decided, Lord, to reconcile herself with you a tu hijo Jesús, and to receive your son Jesus como su único Salvador, as her only Savior. Jesus de Nazaret, Jesus of Nazareth, ven al corazón de Alicia, no come no. to the heart of Alicia once again Llena su corazón, and fill her heart dale la paz que ella necesita, and give her the peace that she needs. Hoy ella ha decidido, Today, she has decided el seguir tu camino, to go back and follow your pathway y darle la espalda al mundo, and give her back to the world. Alicia, en esta hora tú vas a repetir conmigo. Alicia, you will repeat with me right now. Señor Jesús. Lord Jesus. En este momento. Right at this moment. Yo te pido perdón. I ask for your forgiveness. Por todos mis pecados. For all of my sins. Y te pido que me limpies. And I ask that you cleanse me. Que me laves. That you wash me. Purifica mi corazón. And purify my heart. En este momento. Right at this moment. Yo recibo a Jesús. I now receive Jesus. Como mi Señor y Salvador. As my Lord and Savior. En esta hora al pecado. At this moment, I now reject all sins. Y yo acepto que Jesús vino en carne. And I uh, accept that Jesus came in flesh. Murió en la cruz por mis pecados. And that he died on the cross for my sins. Para hacerme libre de toda maldición. So he can make me free of all curses. Y en esta hora, and at this hour. Yo recibo el perdón de Jesús. I receive the forgiveness of Jesus. Y recibo los beneficios de su muerte en la cruz. And I receive all the benefits of of his death on the cross. Acepto que él murió para salvarme. I accept that he died to save me. Y en este momento yo declaro and at this moment I am declaring que soy salva. that I am saved. Que soy salva. That I am saved. Gracias, Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Por haber muerto por mis pecados. For, have, for having died for my sins. A partir de este día, As of today, yo te recibo, Jesús, en mi corazón. I receive you, Jesus, in my heart. Y confieso and I confess que cuando parta tu presencia, that when I Go forth to your presence. Yo me iré contigo. I will go with you. Gracias, Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Porque soy salva. Because I am now saved. Porque soy libre. Because I am free now. Porque he sido perdonada. And because I have been forgiven. En tu nombre, Jesús. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y amen. And amen. Padre, gracias por Alicia. Oh, thank you, Lord, for Alicia. Dale la perseverancia necesaria. Give her the necessary Dale perseverance. Espíritu Santo. Holy Spirit. Ven sobre ella. Come upon her now. Tú eres la promesa del Padre. You are the promise of the Father. Jesús nos prometió. Jesus promised us que tú ibas a vivir dentro del creyente. that you would be living within the believer. Vive dentro de Alicia a partir de hoy. As of today, live within Alicia. Guarda su corazón. And take care of her heart. Guarda su vida. Take care of her life. Dale el coraje necesario. Give her the necessary courage. Para ella poder perseverar en tu palabra. So she can persevere in your word. A partir de esta noche. As of tonight. La declaramos salva. We now declare her saved. Y celebramos su salvación. And we celebrate her salvation. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. In the Jesus. name of Jesus. Bienvenida Alicia. Oh Alicia, welcome. A la gran familia de Jesús. To the great family of Jesus. Ya tus pecados han sido perdonados. Your sins have all been forgiven now. Por medio de Jesús. Through Jesus. Y tú eres and now you are saved. You are now saved. En el de In the name of Jesus. ¿Quién se a darle la a Who dares to bring, give Alicia her, her welcome? Dale la bienvenida, Alicia. <laughs> give Alicia 
her welcome, please. La bienvenida a la familia de la fe. Uh, the welcome of the family of faith. Somos una gran familia en Jesús. We're just a great old family in, in Jesus. Hazle sentir que ella es bienvenida. Make her feel that she is really welcome. Hazle sentir que ella es bienvenida. Make her feel that she's really welcome, people. La Biblia nos dice que hay fiesta en el cielo. <laughs> the Bible says that there's a party in heaven. Cuando un pecador se arrepiente. When a, a sinner is uh, repenting. Hay fiesta en los cielos. There is a party in heaven. Hay celebración en esta hora. There's a big celebration right Bienvenida, now. Bienvenida Alicia. Welcome Alicia. Bienvenida Alicia. Shana. Welcome Alicia. Sigue la felicitando. Uh, continue uh, congratulating her, y folks, dale la bienvenida and give her a welcoming al love reino de Dios. to the kingdom of God. La Biblia dice the Bible says que un pecador que se arrepiente that a sinner that repents en ese mismo instante in that instant pasa de muerte a vida. Hey. They change from death to life. De muerte a vida. From death to to life. De muerte a vida. From death to life. Alicia, ha sido salva en este día. Alicia has been saved today. Ya la muerte no tiene poder sobre ella. Death has no more power over her. La muerte no tiene poder sobre los oh, hijos de Dios. Uh, death has no power over the servants of God. Por eso es que cuando Jesús llegó donde Lázaro. <laughs> That's why hey. when Jesus came where, where Lazarus was. Y ya Lázaro estaba muerto en lo natural. And, and Lazarus was dead in the natural. Jesús Jesús dijo, él tan solo duerme. Jesus, all he said was, he just sleepeth. Él tan solo duerme. He just sleepeth. Porque los creyentes no morimos. Because we as believers do not die. Los creyentes no morimos. We as believers do not die. Cambiamos de vida. We just change our lives. Cambiamos de vida. We change our lives. Cambiamos de ciudadanía. We change uh, nationality. Nuestra citizenship. Uh, we change our citizenship de una ciudadanía terrenal from a citizenship of the earth a una ciudadanía celestial to a citizenship of the heavens. No morimos. We do not die. Y yo vengo a hablarle a alguien en esta And I come to speak to someone in today. Y vengo a decirte And I come to tell you. Si has perdido algún ser querido. If you've lost a, a loved one. A tu madre. Uh, like your mother. Tu abuela. Or your grandmother. Tus hermanos. Or a brother or sister. Ellos solo han cambiado de vida. They've only changed lifestyle. Ellos solo han cambiado de vida. They've only changed their lifestyle. The citizenship, no? Solo han cambiado su vida o su ciudadanía. Yeah, they've just changed their citizenship. Y están en otro lugar. And they're just in another place. Donde no hay dolor. Where there's no pain. Donde no hay limitaciones. Where there are no limitations. Donde no hay molestias humanas. And where there's no discomforts. Human discomfort. Human discomfort. En otro lugar de plenitud. Uh, 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 Another place of abundance. They are not dead. Tan solo they only sleep. Tan solo they only sleep. Angela, pero el doctor me dijo que estaba muerto. Oh, but Angela, the doctor told me that they were dead. Nosotros no caminamos conforme a las reglas humanas. Uh, we don't walk according to the regulations of the earth. Nosotros tenemos nuestras propias reglas. We have our own rules. Tenemos nuestras propias reglas. We have our own rules. Y esas reglas se encuentran en la palabra de Dios. And those rules are found in the word of God. No caminamos por vista. We do not walk by sight. Caminamos por fe. We walk by faith. Angela, el doctor me acaba de decir que tengo cáncer. Oh, Angela, the doctor just finished telling me that I have cancer. No me interesa el reporte médico. Yeah, I am not interested in the, the medical uh, report. Nosotros no caminamos por vista. We do not walk by sight. Caminamos por fe. We walk by faith. Y hay un médico que está por encima de todos los médicos. And there's a doctor that is above all other doctors. Shalaraba, senderema. Se llama Jesucristo de Nazaret. And his name is Jesus of Nazareth. El hijo del Dios viviente. The son of the living God. Yo vengo a decirte en esta noche. I come to tell you tonight. Dios es quien tiene la última palabra. God has Shut the up. last word. Dios es quien tiene la última palabra. God has the last word. He's the one. He's the one. Who has the last word. He's the one that has the last word. Dios es quien tiene la última palabra. God is the one that has the last word. Y no se ha terminado. And it is not over. Hasta que él diga que se terminó. Until he says it's over. 
Hasta que él diga que se termine. Until he says it's over. Angela, pero lo que yo estoy viendo en lo natural. But Angela, what I'm seeing in the natural es tan contrario a lo que tú estás diciendo. is so contrary to what you're saying. Tú no caminas por vista. You don't walk by sight. Tú no caminas por vista. You don't walk by sight. Y me encanta el verso que dice. And I love the verse that says Nuestra ciudadanía. our citizenship Eso se en 17. it is found in uh, Colossians 17. Uh, 17. Nuestra ciudadanía no es terrenal. Our, our citizenship is not of the earth. Es espiritual. It's spiritual. Se encuentra en los cielos. And it is found in the heavens. Se encuentra en los cielos. It is found in the heavens. Por eso es que no nos movemos por vista. That's why we do not move by sight. Shararaba, senderema. No nos movemos por vista. We do not move by sight. No movemos por fe. We move by faith. Nos movemos por fe. We move by faith. Es la gracia de Dios. It's the grace of God. Es la palabra de Dios. It's the word of God. La que controla nuestra vida. That controls our life. Cuando tú te sientas confundido. When you find yourselves confused. Empieza a conversar con Dios. You just have to begin to converse with God. Empieza a conversar con Dios. Just begin to converse with God. No no te limites en tus conversaciones con él. And don't limit yourself in your conversations with him. A veces cuando estoy haciendo ejercicio caminando. Oftentimes when I'm walking and doing my exercises. Empiezo a conversar con Dios. I begin to converse with God. Dile tus miedos. Tell him your fears. Dile lo que tú necesitas. Tell him what you need. Habla con él. Speak to him. Él es un padre amoroso. He's a loving father. Él es un padre amoroso. He's a loving father. Y él tiene sus oídos atentos. And he's got his ears very attentive to you. Él tiene sus oídos atentos. He is, has his ears very attentive to you. Al clamor de sus hijos. And to the clamor of his sons and daughters. Al clamor de sus hijos. To the clamors of his sons and daughters. Es lo que dice la palabra. This is what the word says. Que los oídos de Jehová. That the ears of the Lord. Están atentos al clamor del justo. Are very attentive to the clamor of those who are just. Shararabas in the ramadil of righteousness. Of the righteousness. Of the righteous. In other words, Dios tiene sus oídos puesto esperando que tú hables. God is placing his ears just waiting to listen to you. Esperando que tú le pidas algo. Just waiting that you ask him for something. Esperando que tú lo adores. Uh, waiting to, to hear you worship him. Esperando que tú le adores. Uh, just waiting to hear you worship Sus him. Sus oídos están atentos. His ears are always attentive. Y aun cuando pensamos. And even when we think. Que Dios no tiene cuidado. That, that God is not really looking over us. Que Dios no está pendiente de nosotros. And, and God isn't really so pending upon us. Natasha. 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 God has not forgotten about you. Dios no se ha olvidado de ti. God has not forgotten about you. El Espíritu Santo te dice en esta noche. The Holy Spirit is telling you tonight. Eres mi niña. You are my little girl. Eres mi niña. You are my little girl. A mis, en mis ojos. In my eyes. Nunca creciste. You've never grown up. Nunca creciste. You've never grown up. Sigue siendo esa niña ante mis ojos. You are still that little girl in front of my eyes. Que le tenía miedo a la oscuridad. <laughs> that was always fearful of the dark. Cuando era una niña. When you were a little child. Y no quería quedarte sola. And you didn't want to be alone. Quería que te hicieran cuentos hasta que te durmieras. <laughs> you wanted everyone to just give you little stories until you fell asleep. Porque le tenías miedo a la oscuridad. Because you were fearful of the darkness. Dice el Espíritu de Dios. But the Spirit of God says. Aún lo recuerdo. I still remember this. Aún lo recuerdo. I still remember this. <laughs> recuerdo tus miedos. I remember all your fears. Recuerdo tu primera muñeca. I, I remember your first little doll. Que tenía un vestidito blanco de cuadro azul. And it, it was a little doll with a, a little uh, dress that was uh, white with blue stripes. Era rabacén de rema. Recuerdo cada detalle. I remember all those details. Recuerdo cuando chupabas tu dedito. I remember when you sucked your thumb. 
Constantemente. Constantly. Hasta la edad que caminabas. Until the age when you started walking. Shara no me he olvidado de ti. I have not forgotten you. Eres mi niña. You are my little girl. Eres mi niña. You're my little girl. <laughs> ¿Cómo piensas que te voy a abandonar ahora? <laughs> How can you possibly think that I'm going to abandon you now? El enemigo te ha querido hacer creer. But the enemy has wanted to make you believe que estás sola. that you are alone que me he olvidado de ti. and that I have forgotten Dice about you. El de Dios. But the Spirit of God ha says sido mi, mi mano it's my hands that have been guiding you. <laughs> oh, delay doesn't mean denial. Tal danza no significa negación. The lay doesn't mean denial. Lo estoy preparando. I am preparing everything. Cada detalle. Each detail. Tal y como te lo prometí. Just as I had promised you. Tal y como te lo prometí. Just as I had promised you. He preparado cada etapa de tu vida. I have prepared each stage of your life. Con cada detalle. With each detail. He sido más que un padre para ti. I've been more than a father for you. He sido más que un padre para ti. I have been more than a father for you. I have been your best friend. I have been your best friend. Oh, do you know how much I love your heart? Amo tu sencillez. I, I love your simplicity. No has perdido todavía la humildad. You have not lost your humbleness yet. No has perdido la genuinidad. And you haven't lost your genuineness. Por eso te llamo, mi niña. That's why I'm calling you my little girl. Y tantas veces has dicho, and so many times you have said, Señor, yo quiero ser más fuerte. Oh Lord, I want to be stronger. I want to be stronger because they have hurt me so much. They have hurt me so much. And I allow this uh, to be hurting me uh, over and over again. And everyone thinks I'm just a uh, kind of ignorant. But the Spirit of God says, I am the one that has kept your heart. And I have not allowed that they could contaminate you. I have not allowed that they contaminate you. That they contaminate. That you are con uh, that you are not con contaminated. I have not allowed that you get contaminated. I have kept your heart. He guardado tus emociones. I've kept your emotions. Para lo que tengo reservado para ti. For what I have reserved para for you. Para lo que tengo reservado for para ti. For what I have reserved for hey, you. Hey, Shara Rabasenda, ¿por qué lloras? Why do you weep? No he sido para ti más que un padre. Haven't I not been more than a father to you? He sido tu provisión. I've been your provider. Estás guardada. You've been kept well. Estás protegida. You've been protected. En mis brazos. In my arms. El enemigo te ha hecho creer. The enemy has made you believe. Que eres tan frágil. That you're so fragile. Que eres tan frágil. That you are so fragile. Él no se imagina. He has no idea. Él no se imagina. He has no idea. La guerrera que hay dentro. The warrior that's within you. He guardado. I've kept you. For this season, in order to bring fulfillment, hmm. to bring fulfillment, I know all your dreams, each and every one of them. None of them are hidden from me. None of them are hidden from me. Some of them. Uh, you sometimes are fearful to, to, to tell them to other people because you're going to seem to be too uh, innocent. You're going to appear to be too innocent because they're so crazy. But the Spirit of God says, I know each and every one of them I still remember how you used to dream. And you, you would love to dream about your little uh, princess uh, 
your princess outfit when you were a child. Te gustaba tu traje de princesa. You love your princess outfit. Con tu pequeña vara de hada madrina. <laughs> With your little magic wand. Y siempre has sido tan soñadora. And you've always been so, so, such a dreamer. Dice el Espíritu de Dios. But the Spirit of God says. No tienes de qué avergonzarte. You don't have to be shamed of anything. Yo conozco cada uno de esos sueños. I know each and every one of those dreams. Y la buena noticia es. And the good news is. Que voy a traer cumplimiento. That I will bring fulfillment. Voy a traer cumplimiento. I will bring fulfillment. A cada uno de ellos. To each and every one of them. A cada uno de ellos to each and every one of them. And even those who hurt you lo que se burlaron, and those who, who made fun of you lo que dudaron de tu capacidad, and who doubted your capacity tendrán que sentarse en primera fila, they're going to have to sit down in the first row para ver lo que haré contigo, so that they can see what I'm going to do with you. Será tan sobrenatural. It will be so supernatural. Será tan dulce. And it will be so sweet. Y te voy a vestir de princesa otra vez. And I'm going to dress you up as a princess once para again. Para que dances con tu príncipe. So you can dance with your prince. Vas a danzar conmigo. You're going to dance with me. A mi ritmo. And to my rhythm. A mi manera. In my way. Shararaba, se me oh. rema. Y te voy a permitir escuchar los latidos de mi corazón. And I'm going to allow you to hear the beating of my heart. Para que oiga lo que hay en él. So you can hear what's in them. Para que sepas cómo te amo. So you will know how much I love you. Para que sepas que nunca me fui. And that you will know that I never left you. Hera raba, Ira raba, sanda raba. Recibe en esta noche. Receive it tonight. El abrazo de tu padre celestial. Oh, the big hug Era of your noche. celestial father. Your heavenly father. Your heavenly father's Te hug. Your heavenly father is going to hug you at this hour. Recibe, el abrazo. Receive, his hugs. Recibe, el abrazo. Receive his hugs. Receive his hugs. Receive his embrace. Eres mi niña. You are my Eres little girl. Mi niña. You are my little girl. Nunca me he ido. I've never left you. Estoy más cerca que nunca. I'm closer to you than ever before. Estoy más cerca que nunca. I'm closer to you than Shara ever before. Rama. He escuchado cada palabra. I've heard every single word. Cuando te acostaste en tu cama. When you uh, lay down on your bed. Boca abajo. Uh, uh, face down. Con las dos piernas levantadas hacia arriba. With your two legs uh, lifted up. Y empezaste a llorar. And you began to weep. Porque te desesperaste. Because you got a little desperate. He estado tan desesperada. You have been so desperate. Pero dice el Señor. But the Lord says. He estado más cerca que nunca. I've been closer than ever hey, before. He escuchado tus palabras. And I've heard every one of your words. He escuchado tus gemidos. I've heard every one of your moans. No te podrán tocar. They will not be able to touch you. Antes de tocarte a ti. Before they can touch you. Tendrán que tocarme a mí. They must uh, first touch me. Tendrán. <laughs> they would first have to touch Yo me. Soy tu I am your refuge. Yo soy tu refuge. I am your refuge. Yo soy tu I am your coverture. Yo soy tu I am your coverture. Yo soy tu I am your protection. Y soy tu amigo. And I am your friend. Y soy tu amigo. And I am your friend. Nunca he roto la I've never broken off the friendship with you. El día me uh, remember the days when you would speak to me. Y and you would do a uh, covenants with me. Hey, te sentía tan cercana. I, I felt you so close. Eres mi amiga. You are my friend. Eres mi amiga. You are my friend. En esta noche. And tonight, voy a sacar todo dolor de ti. I'm going to remove all pain from you. Todo dolor de ti. All pain from Estás you. Tan herida. You're so hurt. Has sido tan herida. You have been hurt so much. Han abusado de tus emociones. And they've abused your emotions so much. Han abusado de tus emociones. You've been abused uh, by your emotions so Pero much. Yo soy tu sanador. But I am your healer. Y soy tu restaurador. And I'm your restorer. Espíritu Santo. Holy Spirit. Hazlo ahora. Do it now. Para tu gloria. For your glory. Para tu honra. For your honor. Inunda la de tu paz. Inundate her with your peace. That she feel right now. That she feel it right now. Your presence. Like never before. 
For your glory, Lord. Para tu gloria, For your glory, Lord. El Espíritu Santo. The Holy Spirit. Quiere consolar corazones en esta noche. Wants to console hearts this evening. Quiere consolar corazones. He wants to console hearts this evening. Veo tanto corazones heridos en esta hora. I see so many hearts that have been hurt at this hour. Tanto corazones heridos. So many hearts that have been hurt. Herido por el abandono. Uh, hurt because of the abandonment. Herido por las palabras hirientes. Uh, hurt because of the uh, uh, hurtful words. Herido por la traición. And hurt because of uh, betrayals. Por el miedo. And by fear. La inseguridad. And the insecurities. Espíritu Santo de Dios. Holy Spirit of God. Empieza a tocar cada corazón. Begin to touch each and every one of their en hearts. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Y hazlo completamente libre. And make them completely free. Completamente libre. Completely free. Para tu gloria. For your glory, Lord. Para tu gloria. For your glory, Lord. El espíritu de temor. The spirit of fear. Es uno de los espíritus malignos. Is one of those evil spirits. Con más asignación en la tierra. With the most assignments here on the earth. El enemigo usa el miedo. The enemy utilizes fear. Para paralizarte. In order to paralyze you. Para que no te puedas mover al próximo nivel. So you cannot move to your next level. Para que no puedas obedecer la voz de Dios. And so you can't be obedient to the voice of God. Y el enemigo a menudo utiliza el miedo. And the enemy oftentimes utilizes fear. Disfrazado de la lógica humana. Uh, sort of, uh, uh, disfrazado de la lógica humana. O masking behind the yeah, human like, logic. Yeah, masking behind the human logic. Ma e e disfrazado en la lógica humana. Yeah, masked behind human logic. Y a veces tú no te das cuenta. And oftentimes you don't even realize this. Que está siendo atacado por el espíritu de temor. That you are being attacked by the spirit of fear. Porque lo único que sientes. Because the only thing that you really feel. Es que tú dices no me hace sentido. Is that you say to yourself, it makes no sense. Angela dice que Dios lo va a hacer pero no me hace sentido. Uh, Angela says. God will do it, but but this doesn't make any sense to me. ¿Cómo Dios lo va a hacer? How will God ever do this? Uh, the word says that God will supply my needs, but but this doesn't make any sense. En mi lógica, no me hace sentido. In my logic, it makes no sense. Nunca las promesas de Dios te van a hacer sentido. Never will the promises of God make any sense to you. Tienes que creerla por fe. You need to believe them by faith. Necesitas la fe. You need faith. Para activar las promesas de Dios. To activate the promises of God. Y lo contrario a la fe no es la duda. And, and the contrary uh, event to faith is not doubt. Es la vista. Is sight. Lo contrario, lo voy a repetir. I'm going to repeat this. Lo contrario a la fe no es la duda. Uh, the... the Item contract. Yeah, the opposite of faith is not doubt. Es la vista. It's your sight. Por eso la Biblia dice, That's why the Bible says. No caminen por vista. Do not walk by sight. Caminen por fe. But instead, walk by faith. Tú no tienes nada que temer. You have nothing to fear. Tú no tienes nada que temer. You have nothing to fear. Y te lo voy a demostrar con la palabra. And I'm going to show you this through the word. Angela, ¿por qué yo no debo de temer? Angela, why, why should I not fear? Porque el temor es una mentira del enemigo. Because fear is just a simple lie of the enemy. Es una verdad ilusoria. It's a it's a illusionary truth of the enemy. Es simplemente estás delusional. Dilu You're just simply delusional. No es cierto. Because it's not true. La mayoría de ideas de temor que están en nuestra mente. Uh, the majority of ideas of fear in our mind. Nunca van a, a cumplirse. Will never be fulfilled. Nunca van a come to pass. Nunca van a yeah, will never be coming to pass. Nunca van a cumplirse. Never will come to pass. Nunca. Never. Es un engaño del enemigo. It's a trick of the enemy. Es ilusorio. It's just illusional. Igual que cuando estás en el desierto. Just when you, the same way than you are in the desert. 
en el mundo natural, in the natural world, cuando vas a un desierto, when you go to a desert, llega un momento en que empiezas a alucinar. There comes a time that you become delusional. Por causa del calor y del, del sol tan fuerte. Because of the heat and, and, and such intense uh, heat from the sun. Empieza a ver imágenes que no existen. You begin to see images that don't even exist. Empieza a escuchar ruido que no existe. And you begin to hear things that, that don't exist. Porque empiezas a alucinar. Because you begin to become uh, ilu- delusional. Lo mismo pasa en el mundo espiritual. The same thing occurs in the spirit world. Cuando estamos caminando con Dios. When we are walking with God. Y estamos en nuestro desierto espiritual. And we are in our spiritual desert. El enemigo nos ataca con miedo. The enemy begins to attack us with fear. Y creemos que es una realidad, que es algo real. And, and we actually believe that it's something real. Y no es real. But it's really not es real. Es simplemente una alucinación del enemigo. It's just simple delusion from the enemy. Para distraernos. To distract us. Para impedir que caminemos hacia nuestro propósito. And to impede us from walking towards our purpose. Angela, le tengo miedo a la muerte. Oh, Angela, I have a lot of fear of death. Tengo miedo a que tener una enfermedad incurable. I, I, am, I have a lot of fear of having an incurable disease. Tengo miedo a que mis hijos se mueran. I, I have fears that my children are going to die. A que le pase algo. Or that something bad will happen to them. Es simplemente alucinaciones del enemigo. These are just simple uh, delusionary things from the enemy. Dicen los científicos. Well, the scientists say. Que un por ciento altísimo de los miedos que tenemos. That a high percent of uh, percentage of all the fears that we have Nunca llegan a pasar. will never happen or occur. Nunca llegan a pasar. They never will occur. Solo se, solo pasan en nuestra mente. They only rest in our minds. Solo pasan en nuestra mente. They only rest in our minds. Es lo que está pasando con Brasil en este momento. This is what's happening in Brazil right now. Nosotros vamos para Sao Paulo. We're going to go to Sao Paulo. Y la selva amazónica está en, en candela. And, and the whole Amazon uh, practically is in on fire. Y mis amigos me dicen, Angela, ¿cómo tú vas a ir para Brasil ahora? And my friends are saying, Angela, wh- why are you going to Brazil at this time? Todo Sao Paulo está bajo humo. Yeah, the, uh, all of Sao Paulo is under under uh, smoke. Porque el espíritu de intimidación. Because the spirit of intimidation. El espíritu de intimidación. The spirit of intimidation. El enemigo siempre va a tratar de intimidarte. The enemy will always try to intimidate you. Para que no camines en tu propósito. So you don't walk towards your purpose. Ya yo escuché de parte del cielo. I've already heard on behalf of the heaven. Tengo instrucciones de parte del cielo. And I have instructions on behalf of the heaven. Ya el cielo me dio la fecha de ir a Brasil. The heavens have already given me the day to go to Brazil. ¿Qué me importa lo que diga el enemigo? I, what does it matter what the enemy says? Aún el fuego tiene que detenerse. Even the fire has to detain itself. Frente a la presencia de Dios. In front of the presence of God. Frente a la presencia de Dios. In front of the presence of God. Tiene que retroceder. It must retreat. Todo enemigo. All enemies. Y la palabra que Dios ha hablado. And the word that God has spoken. Sobre Brasil. Over Brazil. Es que viene tiempo de avivamiento. Is that the revival time is coming. Pero antes de la manifestación. But before that manifestation. Siempre viene el ataque del enemigo. There's always attacks coming from the enemy. My God. Oh. Esta palabra es para algo. Oh, this word is for somebody. Y la voy a repetir. And I'm going to repeat it. Antes de la manifestación de Dios. Before the manifestation of God. Siempre viene el ataque del enemigo. There's always attacks that come from the enemy. El enemigo se levanta. And the enemy rises up. Para querer opacar lo que Dios ha dicho. To try and cloudy up what God has said. Por eso está siendo atacado de esa manera. That's why you're being attacked in that manner. Porque el enemigo sabe. Because the enemy knows. Que es lo que Dios te prometió. That whatever God promised you. Está a punto de manifestarse. Is about to be manifested. Está a punto de manifestarse. Is about to be manifested. Y el, y el espíritu de, de intimidación. And the spirit of intimidation. Se ha levantado con más fuerza. Has risen up with bigger strength. Con más fuerza. With greater strength. Para tratar de detenerte. To try and detain you. De tu lugar de destino. Of your place of destiny. Para ponerte a dudar. And to put, to put doubt in your head. Por eso es tan importante. That's why it's so important. Que escuches la voz de Dios. That you should listen to the word of God. Si yo no hubiese escuchado la voz de Dios. If I hadn't uh, listened to the uh, words of God. 
the voice of God, las uñas. I would be uh, sort of uh, eating all my nails. Ah, no voy a ir para Sao Paulo ahora. Oh, I don't think I'm going to go to Sao Paulo Porque now. Las cosas lucen because things look awfully dangerous. Pero cuando tú escuchas from heaven, But when you hear things from heaven, no hay nada que temer. there's nothing to fear. Angela, ¿por qué no hay que temer? Angela, why don't you have to fear it? Por causa de la promesa de Dios en la palabra. Because of the promises of the word. Si tú, si temes a, enfer a tener una enfermedad. If you have any fears of getting an infirmity. Dios no da una palabra en la Biblia. God gives us a word in the Bible. Una palabra de sanidad. A word of healing. Y se encuentra en Isaías 53, 5. And it is found in Isaiah 55, uh, verse 5. Isaías 53, 5. Oh, uh, Isaiah 53, verse 5. Y dice, mas el herido fue por nuestras rebeliones. Uh, but he was wounded by our rebellion. Molido por nuestros pecados. And he was, uh, die, and he died but for our sins. El castigo de nuestra paz fue sobre él. And, and the punishment, punishment of, of our peace. Of our peace was upon him. And the punishment of our peace was upon him. Y por sus llagas. And by his stripes, fuimos sanados. we were healed. Fuimos sanados. We were healed. En otras palabras, In other words, si tienes pensamiento de temor, if you have any thoughts of fear acerca de tener una enfermedad incurable, re regarding to uh, getting some kind of incurable disease, no tiene base en la palabra. it has no basis in the word. Es una alucinación del enemigo. It's just an illusion of the enemy. La Biblia dice en Isaías 53, Isaiah, uh, the Bible says in Isaiah uh, chapter 53, que ya Jesús llevó nuestras enfermedades. That Jesus had already taken upon him all of our infirmities. Y por sus llagas somos curados. And by his stripes, we are healed. La Biblia nos promete the Bible promises us que Dios no va a dar larga vida. that God will give us a long life. Larga vida. A long life. Quizá el enemigo te ha estado atacando. And the enemy has been attacking you. Quizás el enemigo te ha estado atacando. Oh, maybe the enemy has been attacking you. Con pensamiento de que te vas a morir antes de tiempo. With thoughts that you might perish before your time. Que no vas a ver a tus hijos And you're not going to see your children grow up. Y viene atacándote con tantas ideas. And it could be coming and attacking you with all kinds of strange ideas. Pero la Biblia dice, But the Bible says. En el Salmo 91, verso 16, in Psalm 91 verse 16. 16. Los, te voy a saciar de larga vida. I'm going to give you long life. Y te voy a mostrar mi salvación. And I'm going to show you my salvation. Y te voy a mostrar mi salvación. And I will show you my salvation. Cuando el espíritu de temor. When the spirit of fear. Venga sobre ti. Comes upon you. Atacarte con ideas. And to attack you with ideas. De que vas a morir antes de tiempo. That you will probably die before your time. Dile esta palabra. Tell him this word. Que se encuentra en Isaí en Salmos 91. That is found in Psalm 91. Y declárala sobre tu vida. And declare it upon your life. No hay motivo para temer. There's no real reason to be fearing. No hay razón para vivir en miedo. There's no reason to live in fear. No hay motivo para dejarte intimidar por el enemigo. There's no reason to allow the enemy to intimidate you. La palabra de Dios nos da también una promesa. Uh, the word of God also gives us promises. Quizás me digas en esta hora. Maybe you might tell me at this hour. Angela, mi miedo es contra el enemigo. Angela, my, my fears are against the enemy. Tengo tanto miedo I have so much fears a que el enemigo se levante contra mí. that the enemy will rise up against me y gane la batalla. and that he uh, defeat, uh, defeats me. Dios nos hace una promesa. But God gives us a promise. En Deuteronomio 28. In Deuteronomy 28. En su verso 7. In verse 7. Y dice Jehová derrotará tus enemigos. And it says the Lord will defeat your enemies. Que se levanten contra ti. That rises up against you. Por un camino vendrán contra ti. They will come uh, via one way against you. Era rabashenda, y por siete caminos huirán de delante de ti. And with, uh, they will leave by seven paths before you. 
y por siete caminos van a correr de delante de ti. And they will run away from you by seven paths. Así que no hay motivo para temer. So there's no real reason to fear. Cuando se levante el enemigo en tu trabajo. When the enemy rises up against you in your job. Cuando las personas te hagan la guerra. And when people do warfare against Mantente you. Mantente firme en la promesa. Just stand firm in God's promises. De que Dios dice en Deuteronomio 28. That God says in Deuteronomy 28. Que Él derrotará a mis enemigos. That he will destroy your enemies. Que se levanten delante de mí. That will rise up against you. Y que por un camino van a venir contra mí. That they will might, they'll, they'll come against me in one way. Y por siete huirán de delante de mí. And, and by seven ways they shall run away from por you. Siete huirán de delante and de mí. by seven ways they will run away from you. Es la promesa de Dios. This is the promise of God. Angela, mi miedo es que le tengo miedo al mal, al evil, evil. Oh, Angela, my fear is that I have fear of evil. Tengo miedo a que me hagan brujería. I'm, I'm fearful that they are going to do witchcraft against me. Tengo personas que me odian. I have people that just hate me. La Biblia nos da una palabra. And the Bible gives us a word. En Salmo 91. In Psalm 91. En Salmo 91, in verso 6. In Psalm 91, verse 6. Dice la palabra. The word says. No temerás al terror nocturno. You will not fear the terror of the night. Ni a saeta que vuele de día. Nor of uh, lances that uh, fly during the day. Ni pestilencia que anda en la oscuridad. Nor pestilence that uh, go about in the in the darkness. Ni a ninguna mortandad en medio del día. Nor any death in the middle of the day. No es necesario temer. It's not necessary to fear. Porque dice la palabra. Because the word says. Que no temeremos al mal. That we should not fear evil. Porque si tú estás en Jesús, because if you're in Jesus, el mal no te puede tocar. evil cannot touch you. Tú estás protegido. You are protected. Tú estás guardado. You are taken care of. El enemigo no te puede tocar. The enemy cannot touch you. El enemigo no te puede tocar. The enemy cannot touch you. Y para terminar esta parte, and to finish off this uh, part, la Biblia nos promete, uh, the Bible promises that, protegernos hasta de veneno. Uh, to protect us even against uh, poison. De cosas uh, things that can kill us. Que nos matar. That can kill us. Y esto se en 16. And this is found in Mark chapter 16. Te estoy I'm giving you light of the word. Te estoy lo que Dios dice en su I'm telling you what God says in his word. I'm giving you the reason why you should not fear. Y dice el libro de Marcos 16. Uh, and the book of Mark chapter 16 says. Verso 17. Verse 17. Estas señales seguirán a los que creen. This, these signs will follow those who believe. En mi nombre echarán fuera demonios. And in my name they shall cast out demons. Hablarán nuevas lenguas. And they will speak in new tongues. Tomarán en las manos serpientes. They will take upon their hands serpents. Y si bebieran alguna cosa mortífera o venenosa. And if they should drink any kind of venom or poison. No les hará daño. No harm will come to them. No les hará daño. No harm will come to them. Y esta última parte me encanta. And I love this last part. Y voy a celebrar con esta última parte. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate with this last part. Y dice sobre los enfermos impondrán sus manos. And it says, hey. over the infirm you shall place your hands. Y sanarán. And they shall be healed. Y sanarán. And they shall be healed. Lo voy a repetir. I'm going to repeat this. Sobre los enfermos. Over the infirm impondrán sus manos. You shall place your hands. Y sanarán. And they shall be healed. Y sanarán. And they shall be healed. En otras palabras. In other words. Por eso es que el enemigo te intimida. That's why the enemy wants to intimidate you. Because he knows that in your hands hay poder para sanar. there's a power to heal. Hay poder para deshacer sus obras. There's a power to undo his works. Y que cuando tú caminas en obediencia, and when you walk in obedience cuando tú caminas sin miedo, and when you walk without any fear él no te puede intimidar más. he can't intimidate you anymore. Los espíritu maligno de temor. Uh, the evil spirits of fear su asignación their only assignment es a de Dios. is to try and intimidate the servants of God. Cada vez que el te con miedo, Every time the enemy attacks you with fear, dile, Eso no es lo que dice la just return to them and say, 
That's not what the word says. Esto no es lo que dice la Biblia. This is not what the Bible says. Y con la palabra. And counterattack them all with the word. Y levántate y sé valiente. And stand up and be uh, brave. Esa palabra, Dios se la repitió varias veces a José, a Josué. Uh, these words uh, God repeated to Joseph uh, several Joshua. times. Joshua. Varias veces. Several times. Le decía, esfuérzate y sé valiente. He says, uh, uh, Esfuérzate, be courageous. Be courageous. Y sé valiente. And be brave. Y sé valiente. And be brave. Y sé valiente. And be brave. Y en el día de mañana. And tomorrow. Vamos a estar orando y ayunando. We will be praying and fasting. Y vamos a estar declarando una palabra. And we will be declaring a word. Que recibimos en el día de ayer. That we received yesterday. El Espíritu Santo nos dio esta palabra. The Holy Spirit gave us this word. Y nos dijo, dile a mi pueblo. And he said, tell my people. Que le voy a dar doble por sus problemas. That I will give them double for their troubles. Y que voy a quitar la aflicción de ellos. And that I will remove all afflictions from them. <laughs> Maybe some of you have not really understood the profoundness of these words. <laughs> I feel the prophetic anointing so heavy upon me now. <laughs> I've been trying to relay the uh, word that the Holy Spirit has given to me to give to you tonight. But I feel the prophetic anointing so heavy upon me right now that I could spend the whole night prophesying. Y después de esta palabra voy a profetizar más. And after this word, I'm going to prophesy more. Voy a profetizar más. I will prophesy more. Voy a profetizar más. I will prophesy more. Pero so stay tuned. But let me tell you these words. Déjame decirte esta palabra. But let me finish with these words. Porque se trata de tu bendición. Because it's all about your blessing. Tiene que ver contigo. It has to do with es you. Es la palabra que me dio el Espíritu Santo. It's the word that the Holy Spirit Para has given ustedes. me. For all of you. Voy a remover la aflicción de I am going to remove all afflictions from Quizás you. Quizás muchos de ustedes. Maybe many of you. No han asimilado esta palabra. Have not assimilated this powerful no word. No han podido entender. And they might not have been able to Cuando understand it. Cuando Dios te dice. When God tells you. Voy a remover. I will remove all afflictions from you. That which has been taking away your sleep. That which has been stealing your joy. That which has removed your, your smile. Eso que te estado robando la paz. That which has been stealing your peace. Eso que te estado deteniendo de tu destino. And that which has been detaining you from Dios your destiny. Dios te dice esta palabra. God is giving you this word. Yo voy a remover la aflicción de ti. I will remove hey. all afflictions from you. Yo voy a remover la aflicción de ti. I will remove all afflictions from you. Yo en tu lugar. Me in your place. Estaría celebrando. I would start celebrating. Estaría celebrando. I would start celebrating. Yo recuerdo que cuando el Espíritu Santo me dio esta palabra ayer. I remember that when the Holy Spirit gave me this word yesterday. Yo empecé a saltar. I began to jump up and down. Y empecé a celebrar. And I began to celebrate with Ross. Y empecé a celebrar con Ross. And I began to celebrate with Ross. Esa palabra. That word. Esa palabra. That word. La sentí tan fuerte en mi espíritu. I felt it so heavy in my spirit. Que le empecé a celebrar. That I began to celebrate with no Ross. Fue un quien te dijo esto. <laughs> this is not a politician that has told you this. No es el de tu It's not the president of your nation. Es el Dios del cielo. It is the God of the heavens. El que nunca the one who has never said el a lie. Que nunca una and who has never lost a battle. Está en esta noche. He's telling you tonight. Voy a la de ti. I'm going to remove all afflictions hey, from y you. Veo esta palabra en mi and I I see this word in my spirit. Voy a remover la vergüenza de ti. I am going to remove all shame from you. Voy a remover la vergüenza de ti. I'm going to remove all shame from you. El enemigo te ha querido avergonzar. The enemy has wanted to put you to shame. Haciéndote pasar vergüenza pública. And making you go through public shamefulness. Haciendo que tu vecino vean tu situación. And, and that your neighbors see your bad situations. Que tus compañeros de trabajo. And that your uh, partners in 
losing the job. Se enteraran de lo que tú estás viviendo. Uh, that they are realizing what you're going through. Pero el Espíritu de Dios te dice. But the Spirit of God says. Voy a remover la aflicción de ti. I'm going to remove all afflictions Voy from you. Voy a remover el dolor de ti. I'm going to remove all pains from y you. Y veo en mi espíritu a una mujer. And I see my spirit a, a woman. Que tu esposo te dejó. And your husband left you. Que tu esposo te dejó. Your husband left you. Y la vergüenza tan grande. And, and the shamefulness that is so big. Es que te dejó por otra persona. Is that. He left you for another person. Y el de Dios te dice en esta hora, But the Holy Spirit of God tells you at this hour. Voy a la de ti. I'm going to remove the affliction from you. Voy a la de And I'm going to remove the shamefulness from you. Y voy a quitar tu aflicción. And I'm just going to remove your affliction. A veces la aflicción que tenemos en nuestro corazón. Oftentimes the afflictions that we have in our hearts. Es más la vergüenza que otra cosa. It is more of the shamefulness than anything else. Es más la vergüenza. It's more of the shamefulness. Y cada vez que yo pienso en aflicción. And every time I, I think of affliction. Yo pienso en la mujer con el flujo de sangre. <laughs> I think of the woman with the uh, issue of blood. Donde todo el mundo la miraba y sabía su problema and where everybody would look at her and, and knew what her problem was y nadie se acercaba a ella and no one even got close to her y todo el que pasaba cerca de ella and everyone that came relatively close to her decía ella está enferma de, de flujo de sangre they would, they would whisper oh she's sick with the blood issue era un secreto a voces it, it was a loud uh, a secret en toda la nación in the whole nation porque ella es la persona con ese problema because the people with that problem no podían vivir con su familia could not live with their families tenían que aislarse they would have to uh, uh, go off to the, uh, isolate themselves tenían que aislarse they would have to isolate themselves a un lugar alejado uh, to some far off place no cerca de la gente. not near any persons Quizás nunca te has metido en esa historia de lleno. Uh, maybe you've never really read that story in depth Pero imagínate por un momento. but can you just imagine for a moment Lo difícil que es. The, how difficult it would be El que una mujer that a woman tenga que abandonar su casa. would have to abandon her home abandonar sus hijos ab probablemente. abandon her children probably abandonar su esposa. and abandon her husband e irse a un lugar solitario. and go to a solitary place a vivir sola. to just live alone y no poder tener contacto humano. And, and could not have any human contact 12, años enferma. 12 years with this infirmity 12, años sin recibir el abrazo de alguien. Uh, 12 years without even feeling an embrace from anybody Tú sabes lo difícil que es. You know how difficult this would be? El que tú tenga que pararte de lejos a mirar a tus hijos. That you would have to uh, look from afar just to see your children. Y a mirar a tus nietos. And, and to see your uh, grandchildren. Sin poder acercarte a ellos. Without being able to uh, approach them. Porque eres considerada un clean inmunda. Because you were considered unclean. Completamente inmunda. Completely unclean. Y tu esposo te deja por otra. And, and your husband then uh, leaves you for another. Porque yo puedo imaginar que en esos 12 años. Because I can only imagine that during those 12 years. Aquella mujer deseó la muerte. Uh, that woman might have even wanted to die. Digo, es mejor morir. She might have thought, oh, it's just better to just die. Que estar abandonada. Than to be so, so abandoned. Que no poder salir con mis amigas. That I couldn't go out with my friends. No poder hablar con mi familia. I couldn't, couldn't speak to my family members. No poder cargar a mis hijos. Or carry my children. No poder hacer vida social. I, I couldn't be, have any kind of social life. Cuando estoy saliendo en la calle. When I'm going out on the street. Y la gente me ve. And the people see me. La gente empieza a correr. Uh, people start running away from me. Nadie quiere pegarse de mi plaga. Because nobody wants to uh, get near my plague. No te digo que eran tres meses. I'm not telling you that it was just three La months. Dice que 12 años. The Bible states that it is 12 years. Hasta que un día, Until one day. Ella tomó una she made a decision. She said if they're going to kill me, let them kill me. No me importa lo que pase. It doesn't matter what happens. Pero hoy yo voy a tomar una But today I'm going to make a decision. Y voy a, a a Jesus. And I'm going to reach 
to Jesus. Yo sé que algo va a because I know vida. something will change in my algo life. Va a en mi vida. Something will change si in my life. Logro a Jesús. If I can only get uh, close to him. Y ella tomó la and she made this decision. Y hacia Jesús. And she walked towards Jesus. Sin nada. Without her worrying about anything. Los uh, everybody kept pushing her. La everybody criticized nada her. Le but none of this was important to her. And she finally got close to Jesus. And she touched his mantle. And instantaneously she was healed. That same day. And Jesus removed the affliction from her. Dios no necesitó, Jesús no necesitó 12 años Jesus para hacer el milagro. Jesus didn't need 12 years for the miracle. A veces has estado tanto tiempo en el desierto. Oftentimes you've been so long in your desert. Que me dices, Angela, it's too good to be true. You'll say, Angela, it's too good to be true. Era rabashenderema. Se ve demasiado bueno para ser verdad. It's too good to be true, Angela. De debo irme de Instagram. I must leave Instagram. Pero me voy a reconectar de una vez. But I will reconnect immediately. Porque siento la unción profética. Because I feel this prophetic anointing within me. Voy a reconectar otra vez. I will reconnect myself again. Hallelujah.